World Edit has finally updated to Minecraft 1.18.2, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it. We're going to go over every single step of getting World Edit, from where to download it, from the official download page, to how to install Forge to use with World Edit, and then how to eventually use World Edit once you're in Minecraft. This is going to be an in-depth guide, and let's just not delay it. Let's just jump right on into it. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting world edit in Minecraft 1.18.2. It goes over everything you need to know for getting world edit, but so does this video you're watching. I just know some people prefer a text tutorial, and that's why this is here. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click on the green download world edit button to be taken to world edit's official download page. If you do get uh, a captcha like this, uh, that's perfectly normal. One second. There we go, CAPTCHA solved, and here we are on World Edit's official download page on Curse Forge. When you're here, you'll be able to see kind of some information about World Edit, some of the cool stuff that you can generate and do with it. But what you're really here for is to look at the right-hand side and then scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.18 section. Under that, you'll then find World Edit Forge slash Fabric. World Edit's the only mod I've ever seen that works with both with one download. So just go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of the World Edit 1.18.2 Forge Fabric fabric version here. Click on that orange download link and the download will begin. While that's downloading though, how about a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where not only can you run mods like World Edit, but you can also run tons of mod packs. Over 200 mod packs can be installed with one click. Plugins, anything you want to do at Apex, you can do it. Public server, private server, it is totally up to you and what you're basically able to create. We actually have a Apex so much that we host our own server, played at breakdowncraft.com on them, so check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, World Edit has now downloaded. You may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. However, with that, let's go ahead and download Forge. Forge is basically the mod loader that allows World Edit to work with Minecraft. It kind of links World Edit the Mod and Minecraft together. You can find this at the third link in the description down below. And once you're here, this is an in-depth guide for Forge. We're going to be going over the basics in this video. But if you do have any issues, come here to this tutorial because uh, it'll help you out. Once you're here, click on the green Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. We want to make sure that Minecraft 1.18.2 is selected, which as you can see, right there it is. Come over here to the left-hand side and select it if it's not. Then come under Download Latest and click on Installer. The installer will then begin downloading after a few seconds because wait, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. On Add Focus here, you don't want to click anything at all. This is simply an ad that helps support Forge and all that they do, but you don't want to click anything here. If there's any other thing, like download buttons or anything, do not click them. I cannot repeat that enough. Do not click them. All you want to do is wait 10 seconds when you land on this page. Then after about 10 seconds, click Skip in the top right up here. Once you do that, in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading. As long as it has Forge in the title, you're good to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Firefox and other browsers. Now we can minimize our browser and let's go ahead and get World Edit and Forge to our desktop because they're just so much easier to deal with there. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Click on that little Windows icon and then type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up and in here you'll find Forge and World Edit. Drag and drop these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, don't worry if the icons don't look like mine. Let's try to open up Forge. Right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I didn't have Java there, or my icons don't look correct. Well, in either of those situations, if you don't have Java, or if your icons just uh, don't look right here, you need to download and install Java. Specifically, Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. So come here, go through, get Java 17. It's a simple three-step tutorial with a video tutorial as well, if you would prefer that. And once you've got Java, you should be able to open up Forge. However, in some cases, you'll still need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take the jar files on your computer and link them to Java 17, making sure that work perfectly together. That's also going to be what finally fixes those icons because I know it really bothers some people if their uh, icons are different than, than what we're having in the video here. Jar fix after downloading Java will do that. You got to get Java first. Now let's just go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system installer for Forge where you just want to click on Install Client and click OK. This is going to download and install and set up and do everything it needs to do for Forge. And don't be alarmed if it freezes or if it looks like it's not doing anything. I promise it is. It's kind of one of the downsides of Forge is that sometimes it'll do what it's doing right now, which is freeze and then start working again. So don't worry about that. But as you can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge for version 1.18.2. Awesome. Click OK and close out of that. And we can actually delete Forge from our desktop. Now, let's get World Edit installed. To do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. 
And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to go ahead and select our Forge installation. Now for you, it might be automatically selected. It is for me, and if it does say Forge here next to the play button, well, as long as it's 1.18.2 under it, click play and click play again and skip forward a little in the video to where we install Forge. However, for those of you that do not have Forge here, what you want to do is come here to the top and click on installations. Then you want to make sure that modded is checked. As you can see, we unchecked modded and Forge disappears. Check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or you don't have 1.18, 18.2 Forge, click new installation. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.18 grief protected survival and skyblock server. If you want the best Minecraft survival experience out there, I promise Breakdown Craft is it. Come play on it. We've got hundreds of players online every single day. Now let's just go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then we want to select release 1.18.2 Forge. This is the important part. You want to make sure that version is 1.18.2 Forge. Then we want to change the resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so we can see once we're in game and finally click create in the bottom right. We now have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.2 Forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft by clicking play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up with Forge installed. The hard part is over. Getting Forge is the hardest part of installing World Edit. Now it's super simple. And by the way, if you do have things like, you know, white screens when you're opening Minecraft, or it seems like Minecraft's taking a while to load, that's perfectly normal with modded, so just kind of wait it out, if you will. As you can see, a white screen right like so could happen, and I've even seen it go not responding. It was there for a second. Perfectly normal. Don't worry. Now, let's get World Edit installed by once we're on the Minecraft main menu, clicking Mods. So from the main menu here, click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's going to open up our Mods folder right like so, where all we need to do is drag and drop World Edit into this Mods folder. Once it's in your Mods folder though, it's not going to be in game until we click Done and quit Minecraft. We then want to open up Minecraft again, and then log into that Forge profile. Now either the one we created or the Forge profile that was there for you by default. It doesn't matter, either one's going to work as long as it says 1.18.2 forge there. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's gonna open up with World Edit. And by the way, it could take a little longer than it did before because now it's not only loading Forge, but it's loading the World Edit mod as well. On the main menu, we can quickly click Mods and World Edit, and there it is, World Edit is installed. Jumping quickly in game, we can do slash slash wand in game, and there we go, we have our World Edit wand, and we can do what I always like to do in these videos, which is replace grass with diamonds. So we can do that, and then we do slash slash replace, and then we want to do a grass block and diamond block. Boom, there you go. It's that simple. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. I'll see you in the next one.